Hello YouTube, this is PS Dash Hack showing you a tutorial on how to unbrick a fully bricked PSP 1000 fat. So, this is mine, this is the 1000. I'm not sure if you can do it with the 3 or the 2. I'm gonna try with the 1. So, I'm gonna try booting this up. Nothing. That's how to see if it's bricked. Okay, and now, first things first is what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to take out the battery pack. Okay? I took mine out, it's empty. And then, you're gonna have to try putting this charger in. A PSB, I don't know, whatever version of PSB you got. Just plug it in, make sure it's plugged in the wall. And then, once again, boot it up. See that green light? That's good news. And there we go, it says Sony Entertainment, whatever pops up this is a 6.60 update so these are all my game this is this is the thing you're going to be needing later on in this it's called ultra pandora installer okay so first things first is that you're gonna have to plug it in to the computer asap before it like loses it again okay okay and now this will pop up on your computer screen should say that for some people something would pop up right here like somewhere in the middle saying blah 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 click folder or whatever I click my computer and find my memory stick which is this you you should see this has to only work with CFW custom firmware you should have C plugins ISO and PSP is what your PSP comes with right so you're gonna have to go into PSP go into game and then go to this website it's going to be in the description below it's called the ultra oh crap it's called the ultra pandora installer okay that's what's going to make your battery into a pandora straight to a normal battery that's what you're going to be needing and you're going to be needing cfw 6.60 pro b9 that will be in the description below too don't worry so that's what it's going to come out as so you're going to have to Unextract the whatever Pandora crap. Go to MS Root, PSP, game. You're gonna have to drag this. Go back in here. Go to game. This is my PSP right here. And then you're gonna have to drag it all right here. Okay, see, I already did that, so I'm not gonna go for it. And then you're gonna have to go back, 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 and just exit out. See, so your Ultra Pandora thing is done. Don't worry about that. So you can delete that wherever you want to put it. I'm going to put it in there. And then you're going to have to need CFW 6.60 Pro B9. Okay? That's the custom firmware thing. So you're going to have to un unextract it. It's going to come out with these two. This only works with the B9. It doesn't work with the B10. Okay? So you're going to have to go once again to computer. That. Click PSP go into game and bring both of these into here okay I need that and now you're gonna go back 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 just exit out of that okay and then from your PSP from your PSP you're gonna go straight and press O okay and then you're going to shift over to game and click the the pro update. First things first is that you have to click the pro update. Don't just go ahead and click anyone. You got to click the pro update. Okay? So I'm just going to do that right now. And see my battery's still out of the pack. Don't put it in yet. Okay? And then press X to install and X to start. Okay? And then it goes back it, re it reboots back to the main menu and then you're gonna have to go over don't click fast recovery yet okay now you're gonna have to go to ultra pandora ins installer okay so click that now this battery is one you're gonna be needing it you thought it was gonna be junk but actually you're gonna be needing it now so you're just gonna have to slip it in the back I don't bother putting the case on it my case is right here I just choose not to okay and then you're gonna go straight 
to the battery options and then you're gonna say make battery Pandora okay are you sure you want to make do you want to make it yes it says checking battery Pandorized process complete returning to main menu now it's gonna reboot back to this menu then you're gonna have to click it again and go over to click make normal battery check in battery battery normalized process complete returning to main menu and now that's it so from now on you go to IPL menu and you should press install time machine bolt boot takes a couple seconds installation complete now it's gonna reboot it back to the first part alright and then you're gonna click home right there and click quit the game I don't know why they say it's a game Okay, on from there, you're going to have to shift over to settings and then go down to system settings. On from there, you got to go scroll down all the way to system information. And then see it's a 660 Pro B10, I mean 9. Okay. And now you shut off your PSP completely. Hold it down. It turns black. And let go okay so now you have to wait one two three and then start booting up again hold it hold it there here even if I unplug this it's back it's not normally non bricked I can do anything I want and by the way if you want to install games it's still custom firmware That'd be on my other video on how to install games. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Like, subscribe, and comment please.